Uh, hi, this is Step School. Uh, previously, I showed how to work with new pixel LEDs by using high frequency PWM signals and sending data through DMA. I decided to work on this project further because first of all, it's it's a, it's interesting project because you, you can make your own custom LED device and also you will learn how to uh, integrate, how to use ADC on your projects. So the idea is that I can rotate, we can rotate the, the potentiometer and control each RGB color. So the first thing we need to do is to um, configure ADC channels. So in our case, we have to use three ADC channels. So in my case, I'm using this uh, Mikey controller, this Mikey controller board, and I, I use PA1, PA2, and PA3 to read analog data. So here we have IDC 1, channel 1, 2, and 3. Uh, so we can enable these channels by opening IDC 1 and ticking these boxes. Uh, so, per, so for parameter settings, we can keep everything by default, but for resolution, I set 8 bits because we don't need a high resolution. And at the same time to control the, the, the brightness of each, uh, of each RGB color, we have to send one byte or eight bits uh, of, of data. So without scaling, we can use ADC outcome uh, directly. Then for number of conversions, I set three because we have three channels. Then we have to define the order. So first I uh, sample channel one, then I have a channel two, and, and finally we have a channel three. And for a sampling rate, I set 15 cycles because we don't need that high uh, sampling rate. So this is the end after uh, after configuring the ADC, we can, you can save the file to generate the code. So after the code generation, I updated main.c file in a following way. So first we start ADC, then we use this function to, to start the conversion. And, and, and I'm using polling mode. We don't have an interrupt or DMA because it, it's, it's enough for that. We, our application is not so time critical. Then um, I take the, the, the value. So this is the value of, of channel one. And I have a, a buffer, uh, one byte buffer to, to save, to store all these values. Then I, I take this, the second, uh, the, the ADC data of the second channel. Then I have the third channel. Then I stop ADC. Then as we discussed before, I use a potentiometer values to set the LED pattern. So we have RGB color. And then I use this function to set the pattern. Then I send the data using this um, uh, HAL API function. So that's it. You don't need to update your code that much. Then we can start debugging the code. Uh, so I resume the code and I rotate the potentiometers. And as you see, I can easily adjust the brightness of the RGB color. So thanks for watching. Um, please subscribe now to uh, miss new videos. And also we can work on this project further by designing PCB to remove all these wires. So you, we will end up with our own custom um, uh, LED device. So see you um, next time.